Hey everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2. Let's play Belladonna Cove Round 2. And we are back with the Gavigan family, where I've given the parents, Mary and Nathan, a little bit of a makeover. Very, very tiny, nothing huge. Um, just a couple of you mentioned that they do not look anything like what their backstory is. And I totally agreed. So I made Mary wearing something a little more casual and um, and comfy feeling, you know. Uh, she's just going to eat her cereal and uh, then come and change. But uh, and this kid, he needs to get up and eat so he can go to school because his school bus is going to be here. Um, and uh, what's his name? Isaiah, we haven't, uh, we haven't uh, done anything to him. He's super cute, though. He looks like, he looks a lot like his dad, but with his mom's hair coloring. Uh, and Nathan wants to go to work, too, but he starts at 5 p.m. instead. Um, yeah, we still don't really know a lot of people. So we're working on that, though. We want to be friends with Carlos, which I think will stir up some crazy drama. We also want to be friends with Chastity Gear, which I think would be great. Uh, but yeah, so here is Amaria's new outfit. I've given her a bunch of, like, casual stuff, stuff so that when she's working on her car downstairs, she's, you know, not limited in her movements and things like that and she's not dirtying up such like a nice dress so she's gonna come in and work on the engine on the car i actually don't know what you work on first in these things like um oh jesus now he has to walk to school so go ahead and walk to school little one leave the bowls just off you go run cool your father will clean up the dishes and uh and uh, do do him do do him so nathan as you know he is in the he is part of the mafia the mob and um they had to run away because you know nathan's not the sharpest tool in the shed he thinks he's kind of all that but he's one of those guys that like he really messes up all the time like he makes terrible decisions and they affect their entire family and mary is starting to get sick and tired of this like she's tried to stay by him as much as she can but you know at the same time she's she has to think about her the future of her children or child um and and herself like you don't want to come home one day and there be like a ton of freaky guys that are coming over and like bothering you and threatening you and your family just because your husband made a terrible mistake like who who's down for that who is down for that no one not mary so she's like you know what i'm totally over it like so done take me take me home i'm um i'm over it so <sighs> we moved away we had to run away because back in their hometown nathan really really screwed up and She's hoping, she's had this talk with him, like, Nathan, let's just chill. <laughs> and so far, so good, but now he's back in the criminal career, and she doesn't really know it yet. So that's going to be another big old issue, but let's have him work on his skills a little bit. I do want him to meet more people. Right now, we only know Jessica Peterson, and we're pretty attracted to her, but... We don't really know anyone else, and that dis not disturbs me, but it upsets me. I want him to, specifically, I want him and Jason uh, to, Jason Cleveland, to talk, because I think, or get him with Ramir Patel. Does Mary know Ramir Patel? No, she knows Chastity, and she knows Gabriel Green, and uh, that's it. Oh, we're starting to be really, really stinky. Let's get her to, um, <laughs> she actually needs to come upstairs and take a nap. She's exhausted. So we'll work on that. And maybe we should go out. I feel like Nathan wants to go out and meet more people and things like that. And, you know, people aren't going to walk by our place. So the only kind of way to meet people is to go out. So let's go out. We're going to go out. <laughs> And I think he's going to stop by 
I don't know where he's gonna stop by yet. Let's let's think on this. Let's have him run here. Um okay, so I think Do we wanna go to the arcade? Coffee shop. Where haven't we gone that I feel like we should go? Finer fair market. Adorn yourself as a goddess when you shop at Freya's raiments. Our selection is as infinitely large as the heavens and our quality is unmatched. Okay. Games send ground. Planetary pet store. Swift and thrift mini mart. Um... Sure, let's go to the th thrifty mini mart and see if we can grab some things for the house that we we don't have here and see uh, and see who we meet. And bam, we're here and look at all the freaking people. Jason Cleveland's right here uh, for us to talk with, and we actually look uh, so much alike. It's like actually creepy. Like we could be we could be brothers from another mother. Like, and I feel like this is where you know things are gonna. Things are going to start happening now. So we can admire him, tell him a joke, um, chat. He is a cop, so we do have to be a little careful. But what we say and what we do. Isabel uh, Baldwin is here. Same with Benjamin Baldwin. I feel like Nathan might like steal from them or something. So we will definitely want to get to know them a little more. But... Oh, wow. We are already, like, at 25 relationship points with uh, Jason Cleveland, which is amazing to me. Let's, um... I'm waiting. Uh, don't flirt. Let us say something else. Just more chatting. Maybe a friendly hug. We had some investments go well. There's also a break dancer here, which is pretty great. Uh, we're gonna come greet these two as well. Just get to know them. Oh, he didn't like that at all. He did not want to hug. So just say hi. And hi. And there's fresh produce everywhere too, which is kind of weird. But we also have magazines right here. Let's see what ones we can buy. We can get the Rat Race, which is for Fortune. I might want that. Mode Live. Highbrow Review. Culture, Environmentalism, and a Pinch of Hard-Hitting Political Analysis. Young Sim. Superstar Report. Beyond Belief, Are There Aliens? Okay, so he's going to want this one. But we're also going to want to get this one for our son, because he will definitely freaking love that. Jesus, Jason. Is that it? That's all there is in this mini mart? There's like barely anything. Oh, what's this? What are these? Oh, video games! Okay, we definitely want some new video games. Let's get, we can get My Sims, Sport FIFA. I feel like he would really like FIFA a ton. We also are going to get Spore. 95 small in Jesus. See, and now he's going out here and he's spending all of her money. All, all of their money. SimCity 4, Sims busting out, my Sims. Okay, no, that's fine. Just those two. Um, the Good Witch is here, Phoebe Adams. I don't know about that. So, okay, those two are flirting, having a good old time. Let's come back and chat some more with Jason. Everything's glowing. Ooh, look at this break dancer go. I'm just so amused by him. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Oh my god, we're talking about ghosts. We're going to talk about music and dance hobby as well. And... Tell him another joke. Yeah, we really seem to be getting along quite fabulously. Is this a machine? We can get root beer, orange soda, cola, lemon, lime soda. And then here's those crackers. I think we've seen this before. Ooh, macadamia nut cookies. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So we've met people. This is good. We are, um, we're doing, we're doing well, I think. I think I want us to actually head over to another lot. I kind of want to go to Central Park or something. I feel like, oh, the freaking unsavory, whatchamacallit guy. He pickpockets you. 
Uh, we're going to go to another lot and see who we can meet. I want to head over to, I think we're going to go to Central Park, just regular old Central Park and see see what's up. So I will see you guys when we load into that lot. Alrighty, welcome. It is nighttime at Central Park, but that is okay. You can still get this glory of it. We got ourselves a human statue just standing right there doing uh, doing him, doing well, looking really suave. This is actually huge. There's a whole bunch of parks. There's a bingo thing over here. I saw Isabel Baldwin over here as well. So I want to um, want to greet her and see if we can befriend her a little bit. Don't play. Befriend her a little bit and um, maybe, maybe lower her guard a bit. She is still, she is upset. She just had a miscarriage. Not that anyone else really, really knows about that. But he is noticing like all this fancy jewelry over her body, over her body, on her body. And, you know, Nathan is, um, he is a bag man. So, you know, we need to... Why can't I select her anymore? Oh, she's leaving. That's why. Well, it's 9 o'clock and there's there's honestly nothing else to do here. <laughs> oh, but this place looks cool. So there's this park and then there's... That's the second park where there's um, an actual jungle gym over there. And then there's some more over here. I don't know what those are. Um, but there's a third park there, but we're going to go, go ahead, head home. He does actually have work today, so, uh, I need him to get home and go to work because <laughs> we need simoleons, especially because he just like bought a whole bunch of stuff. So she's making it rain. She's making it pour. Yeah. Look, see, even she's all messed up because I put in that mod wrong. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to change it and remove it. But anyways, I will see you guys when we load home. Alrighty, so we are back home. Uh, Nathan, or is Isaiah, uh, will be home any second, and then Nathan's carpool will be coming shortly. So, where's his bus? Here he is. He is a B plus student. We're so close to getting an A, where we will, um, and then we can get into some private school and meet our friends and stuff. So I'm gonna have him play FIFA. And his parents are both taking a nap right now, but Nathan is off to be a criminal. He will hopefully also get promoted. That would be super because we need the monies. We need the money. I just want to see quickly. Oh, let's take out his, um, his magazines really quick. And the alien one is going to go into his room. Like here. So we can read about science, health, or the paranormal. He likes all these things, so... Wow, FIFA sounds great. P FIFA sounds great, even though I don't really like FIFA, but... You know, don't, don't, don't hurt me, don't kill me, don't, I'm sorry. So we went ahead and we met people and now Mary, she, she wants a baby. She wants friends. She wants all that good stuff. So she's going to come down and call, I guess, Chastity because it's easier to talk to Chastity than it is Carlos Contender. Um, we're going to befriend her as much as we can. There's garbage right there. I don't know why. Um, I also want to know why our mailbox is so far away from us. Like, not fair. All our neighbors are on their way home. Mary's thinking about her car and tinkering and things like that. And Chastity and her can talk about tinkering because they're both into that. So that's she's going to be a great friend for um, for Mary. Oh, you made one meal. What about your son? Your son's hungry. Actually, no, he's not. He's playing more games because he finished both of his homework. So that's wonderful. And it's Thursday. He's gonna actually play some more and then go and then go to bed. Um, we are feeling oh god okay we're feeling okay I think. Do we have to clean up the house any at all? We'll clean up that. Um, I think I'm gonna have her study. Actually no, I want her to call call Carlos Contender and try and be friendly with him a little. 
Nathan's employer has been has him delivering an endangered Sin City canary, notoriously difficult to catch in the wild, to a well-known private collector of rare species. A uh, long list of care instructions. Hours into his day, he realizes he's been neglecting the canary, and when he goes to check, he discovers it's lying motionless at the bottom of the cage. Nathan's in trouble and can't possibly admit the truth to the parties involved. Should he lie about the circumstances or head to the wilderness and try to catch a replacement? Now, Nathan is the type that would 100% try and catch a replacement, so let's see what happens. Forces Nathan to pay for the canary's funeral arrangements, and Nathan is out 750 simoleons. See, done all right. Like, Nathan, you done screwed up everything. You done messed up everything. Um, but we're getting closer. Oh. Why is our landlord calling us? I want to talk to my landlord. What kind of landlord calls and chit chats with their person? Um, we're also going to change this to Indie Wave, I think. And dance to that. Okay, good. He went to sleep because it is 10 o'clock. Can we tuck him in? We were going to read him to sleep. Oh, uh, we can read about crime, work, or money. No, we're going to, we're going to study our mechanical and wait for Nathan to come home because she's concerned he's going to work so late. He's working at such late hours and she doesn't quite know what to think of this, you know? Don't read to your son. Put away. Can we put away all the books? Please? And wait for Nathan to come home. We're going to lounge here and wait for him. Alrighty, so he's home. He's exhausted too. Like, he did not get promoted. Um, but she's going to come here and... You know, she's she's irritated. She is annoyed. She is frustrated. She wants to know what he's what he's doing. Like we moved away to give ourselves a new a second chance. A new chance. And he's like, "Yes, honey, that's exactly what we're doing." And I'm ha like this is the right path. This is what I'm going to do. And you don't understand and you just have to trust me. You have no idea. And she's so upset because he treats her like she's dumb or like stupid and that she has no idea what's going on. Meanwhile, she knows the entire time. She's the one that like bailed him out last time. Things could have gotten way worse. They were only able to escape and run away because she helped out. Um, so she's very annoyed with him. And he doesn't seem to get it. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and skip until... Oh, well, I guess it is morning time. So I guess we're just going to wait. <laughs> um, so, you know, they're um, they're a little odd, you know. Oh, this kid's awake. I didn't even know. <laughs> He's going to be going to school. So I'm going to have him actually go here and wait for his school bus. There he is. It's freaking almost winter time. He's in his sweater and scarf already. My goodness. My goodness. Uh, but he broke the tub. My goodness. Clean, repair, take a bath. Aw, but then they're cuddling. Like, aw. Aw. Like, at the same time, like, oh, What my heart? My heart, what the frick, man. <laughs> they hate each other, but then they love each other at the same time. They drive each other crazy. I think that's that's the moral of the story. They drive each other mental. Absolutely mental. And that's what's so great about their relationship, I guess. So she's, I guess, feeling a little frisky. She wants to... She wants to, you know, try for a baby really quickly. Um, you know, they forgot about their fight last night. She's she's just, you know, really wanting to build a family together and be together, like, forever. Oh, this is our first woohoo. What? 
Looks like we're not pregnant, but we woohooed, so all all good. All literally all good. So clean, repair, take a shower. Uh, and he's back to bed sleeping, like no big deal. He's gonna come read about crime and uh, enjoy enjoy that. And she's repairing the bathtub, waiting patiently. And take a shower. Okay, come back. Come on, you can repair it. I know you can. You have level four mechanic skill. Like, how difficult is this tub to fix? Really, girl? Oh, she's too hungry, I think. God damn it. Come get some leftovers. How about you two eat together? That would be wonderful. And he's excited to go back to work. She's wanting to work on her car so that is another good thing can you stop can you stop isaiah is horsing around with some classmates and he manages to effortlessly toss a chair clean across the classroom football coach notices and gives isaiah a spot in the team within days isaiah becomes a star player and takes home 150 simoleons okay i know I know. Come work on the body of Yikir. Isaiah got an A plus finally. So I think that's where we're going to come in and freaking invite the headmaster. He does have work today, but um, we're going to leave that with Mary. He's going to be over at 5 p.m. So she needs to work on her car for a little bit. And then actually get ready to meet this the guy. So we gotta clean up the house a bit. Clean, wash hands. Um, Isaiah's gonna change into his everyday. He's excited, and nervous for the schoolmaster to come here. Uh, and he's here, and he's here. Oh my god. He's arrived for dinner. Okay, let's um, no, just greet him. <laughs> Not greet everyone. And bring him inside. Okay, cool. So we're going to chat with him really quick. Um, schmooze about school. Oh, he doesn't seem to like us at all. Uh, schmooze about school, schmooze about school. He seems to like that. And then we'll give him a tour of the house. And, of course, a tour of my home would be lovely. Of course it would. Is he, is he coming? Okay, cool. Show room. Uh, we'll go into the kitchen. Show room. Show room. Show, what's it? Oh, that was not the whole house, but okay. Okay, very good. So we're going to then serve some dinner, and I'm going to have you come downstairs and um, chat with the headmaster. Just be, you know, be nice, be good. Why can't children schmooze? Like, I'm the one going to, I'm the one going to the school. Like, let me schmooze you. <laughs> no, she's not available to talk. Oh my god, you burnt the food? Oh my god, okay. Bring some leftovers. Pull out some grilled cheese sandwiches. And... Oh my god. And then... Call for dinner. Okay, good. Okay, good. You get to have up... You get to have the, um... We're just gonna clean up this burnt spaghetti. Very good. And he can get himself some leftovers too. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Just having grilled cheese and mac and cheese. No big deal. No, he's not. I know, honey, I know. Uh, okay, we got 67 points. The food points were not good. So schmooze some more. This is all we can do now. Just keep schmoozing about school. 
Oh lord, we might not get in. I think we need to get to know him a little bit more, too. Oh my god, but talking with him isn't working. Um... Oh lord, honey. Can you flirt with him to get your son into school? Um... Oh my god, he doesn't seem to like anything we talk about. It's going so bad. Oh my god, we're not gonna get in. <laughs> I don't think this, like, ever happens. I don't know what he likes. Can we talk about school instead? Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, we're not getting in. Okay, there we go. He likes talking about school. Harrisner does not think that this is the kind of family that should associate with such a fine institution. Oh no. We didn't get in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Nathan really, really, really wanted uh, Isaiah to get into private school, like, so, so bad. Now Mary has to stay up and tell Nathan that we didn't get in, and he's gonna be so mad. But he got promoted. Oh, Lord Jesus, now there's a fire. What is this? What is my life? Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's stinky. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's so mad at her. He is so mad at her. Like, what happened? What happened? Oh my god. These guys, they drive me bonkers. They drive me absolutely bonkers. Like... <laughs> Nothing ever goes their way. I really don't think that... Oh, she tried to make hamburgers? Why would you do that? You tried to make one hamburger. Are you... Okay, eat that. Okay, fine. Fine. Absolutely fine. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up this part. So we did not get into private school. Poor Isaiah. Do we even have any friends? We don't even know any of the other kids. He's doing the schmuzzle. Can we turn off this music and just relax? We're all stinky from the flames. <laughs> Everything's terrible. Like, this is honestly... Yes, I understand. I understand. I understand all too well. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and end this part here. If you guys are enjoying this series, please do give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly. Let me know your thoughts about the Gavigans and how you think they're going to fare in this town. Is, is their relationship going to last? What kind of drama do you see popping up? Um, who would you like to see them interact with in the town? We're starting to get Mary closer with Chastity and Carlos Contender. Um... Nathan is getting closer with Jason Cleveland and the Baldwins. Um, let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so, so very much. I'm going to see you in my next video, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.